Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks, and today I'm going to show you my contribution. This is my pattern this year for a hat not hate campaign that's by Lion Brand. It's supposed to make a hat that's at least 75% blue. And this is my pattern this year. This is uh, something that I made a while back in pink, but I'm making it in blue. And this is Evie's cat ears hat, and it's one of her favorite hats. She wears it all the time. I have a pink one, I made her a brown one, but this time I'm going to make it in blue. I just love this pattern, and I've revisited it and I've revamped it a little bit to make it even easier. So let's get started. I am using today the Buttercream Luxcraft Angel Hair. And this is from Joann's. I'm using this one. I think it's just light blue. Yep, light blue and white. And I use white first for the little edge right here and blue for the top because I didn't have quite enough of one skein of blue to make a whole hat. So if you wanted to make this all completely blue, get two skeins of the buttercream in the light blue if you want the whole hat to be blue. Otherwise, just get one of each and you'll have plenty. I always do a five weight with this hat and it's nice and stretchy, has a good stretchy brim. They do have some rules for the sizes for the Hat Not Hate campaign. All donated hats should be a circumference of between 16 and 20 inches. So they're a little bit smaller than an adult size hat as they distribute them to elementary schools and all of that. It's an anti-bullying campaign so they want to have everybody wearing a blue hat. I suggest you have some kind of a tape measure or a ruler with you and use the hook that you need to stay within the 16 to 20 inch circumference when you make your chain. I'm going to add a 5 millimeter right here I'm using my angel hair buttercream. All right, so we're going to make a slip knot and we're going to chain 60. One, two, three, four, and stopping at about five or six. I'm at six right now. I'm going to take this off of my hook and go through my very first chain and then back on here again. So make sure we don't get a twist in our chain. And then go on to 60. So there's seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty-nine, and sixty. And on my last chain that I just made, I want to put my stitch marker so I can find it again. Sometimes with this fuzzy stuff, it gets a little it gets a little hard to find a stitch every once in a while, so I just made it easier for myself. We're just going to slip these together, chain one, and into our marked stitch, we are going to do a double crochet. There we go. Now I can move my stitch marker. Since we're going to be working in the round, I like to have my stitch markers. I don't get lost along the way. And we're just working on the ribbing right here. So in order to start the ribbing, all the way around we're going to do double crochet. So we'll end up with 60 double crochets. 59 and 60. Now we're back to our stitch marker. Lay this out. Make sure we're not twisted, and we're not twisted. Perfect. Suggest you measure now at this point, just to make sure you're within the guidelines, uh, between 16 and 20, and at this point I'm at about 18, so I'm right in the middle. That's perfect. It's almost to 9 inches in diameter, so this is going to be about 18 inch circumference, which is within the guidelines of the requested dimensions for these hat donations. So there's our first round. Now we're going to start doing the ribbing. We have three rows of ribbing and this is a really easy, super easy peasy pattern. We're back here. We met up with our stitch marker. Now in this stitch right here we're going to do a front post double crochet. So we aren't going to work in the marked, the marked area at the top of the stitch. We're going to work in the front with the front post double crochet. Right like that. And we'll do that one more time. 
in the next stitch. Two front pulse double crochets. Right there. And now we're going to go into the back and do two back post double crochets. You should come around with your hook in front of the post, yarn over and pull through with your double crochet. So you can see that makes it a little bit ridges, a little bit of ridges here and it's nice and stretchy. So I'm going to take my stitch marker out and put it in my first chain or my my first stitch. Whoopsie. One, two, three, and four. Then I don't lose track. So that's our sequence all the way around. Two front post double crochets, two back posts. Two front post, two back post. Two front post all the way around and you'll end on back posts. So you'll have the same sequence going all the way around. You just slip stitch and do it again. We have we want three rounds of ribbing. So I'll meet you after you did all three. Alrighty, and here is my last back post double crochet. So we did three rounds of the white just to make the ribbing. There we go. See, and they match up nicely. It goes front, back, front, back, and we end on a back. So it's front, back, front, back, all the way around. Barely any seam at all. And it's very nice. Very nice not having a seam. So there's our there's our stretchy ribbing. Now we're going to change colors. We get to add our blue. Now we're going to work on the top of the hat with our light blue. So we are going to, like we did before on every one of these rows, we're going to slip stitch. However, we're going to change with our blue. All right, so we've added our blue and we want to do double crochet into every stitch. And I want to mark it all the way around with double crochets. And I will meet you back at the stitch marker in just a moment. Stitch number 60 on our very first row of blue. Now we're going to change it up instead of doing a slip stitch and a chain one like we did right here on these three rounds. We're just going to work in the round now and we will get rid of that seam completely. So there's our first stitch that we marked. Double crochet. And this is now round two. All the way around again for eight total rounds. So this is round two. And after you get all eight of them done, I'll meet you back way up here. We're almost done at that point. This goes really fast. And here we are at the end of round eight. See no seam. Barely see any kind of a seam right here. No seam here. This is awesome. Now we want to do our last round. I'm going to get out some more stitch markers. So round 13 is what this is. Remember we did a round of double crochet and then three rounds of our ribbing and eight rounds of double crochet with the blue in the round. Our last round is really easy too. We're going to start with a single crochet and move my stitch marker. We are going to do six single crochets, so that I did one there, two, three, four, five, and six, and I'm going to mark that one. So I know where my sixes are. And then eight double crochets, 17 and 18, twelve single crochets, our next, let's mark him too, 
just so we can keep track of them. So we want 12 singles. So there was one, here's two, 11, 12. We we'll mark this guy too. So that is just setting our single crochets apart from our doubles. Because with the fuzzy stuff, it's harder to see it. A little bit harder to see. So now it's easier to find. We're going to do 18 double crochets again. 17 and 18. And our last part is six single crochets to the end. So here's our first one. We're going to mark him with pink. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're done with the hat. We just have to close up the top and make the ears, which is really, really easy. So we're just going to have all these guys lined up slip stitch and finish this off. And we're going to turn them inside out so we can close up the top. And you can see, definitely can tell with the, with the angel hair that this is the wrong side. It's very fuzzy. So we just want to make sure all these are lined up. These 12 right here are a section and then these two make the ears. These over here. So there's 18, which is 9 here and 9 on the other side. So a total of 18. 9 on this side and 9 on that side. Total of 18. And here is 12 on both sides. 6 here, 6 there, 12 here. So now I want to start in this corner, making sure that we get everything lined up. These two are going to be talking to each other in a moment. So we'll go back down here and start slip stitching. Got to slip stitch this guy closed. slip stitch and we're just going to slip stitch all the way down to those markers. All right, we did our slip stitches on this edge right here now we made, made it back to our markers and this one is going to be from these markers to this marker we're going to go through both sides and we're going to single crochet 12 together and hopefully you have a big enough look. I may not have a big enough look. We're going to single crochet 12 together. So insert it through both sides. Yarn over, pull through, and then go to the next stitch. Go through both sides. Yarn over, pull through, and keep all of these. All of those loops are going to stay on your hook. All the way down to the end. All the way down to the other markers. Two. And I managed to get them on my hook. Yay! Alright, you're going to yarn over and pull through everything. Alright, our 12 stitches. We've managed to make it all the way through even though I have a tiny throat on my, on my hook. And now we're just going to close that with a chain. So we bunched all the mill part together. All 12 of those were bunched together. And now we're going to close up with slip stitches all the way down to the other end. Make sure this stays nice and tight. So our next stitch, I'm just going to pull it a little bit. Make sure it stays nice and tight. And we'll start all these slip stitches through both sides again. Should be nine of them. Down to the corner. And this is making ear number two. There you go. All done. Now we can finish off that edge. And 
nice and tight, nice and tight here. Now I can take up all of these stitch markers, any of them that are showing on this side. There's another one. And then we'll turn it back right side out. Like this. And there's our other one. And poke out these, poke out the corners for the ears. There we go. We closed up the top and made two ears with a nice puff right in the middle. We can take out this stitch marker. And all you have to do is weave in ends. I'm going to get this one back tucked inside here. It's always not showing right now. And you just weave in your ends. And you have an adorable blue cat not hate donation. It takes you about, oh, I bet, it, I bet you could have this done in about an hour. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks. Make a whole bunch of blue hats and donate them to Hat Not Hate. It's hatnothate.org. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks. Tell all your friends. Make lots of blue hats. And I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.